the uh, Congress from um, Oklahoma almost caused a fight up in there. Literally, they was back for two minutes, and he done stood up and said, can we adjourn to tomorrow? And so that woman asked, I don't know who she is, and that's all I, now, now they got to vote, and I'm glad they voted, because it was almost a fight. It was almost a fight. It looks like they ain't going to adjourn. No, they ain't going to adjourn to tomorrow. Oh, no. Not me. So far, it's 151 said no, 113 said yes. I mean, Oklahoma dude, he know what he just did. Almost caused a fight. And, and they almost fought with that rowdy. A vote. This is being done electronically, so we expect it to go quickly. You can see it's a 15-minute vote. All the members are in the chamber, so they'll start voting. You can see the numbers are racking up. It was a rowdy up. I mean, they were, no, oh, and then you heard some other stuff up in there. I'm just saying. I'm just saying almost caused a fight. Almost caused a fight. I'm just saying, he knew what he did, and he stood up, and he was smirking when he said it, too, y'all. Come on, now. First time in a hundred years that this has came. Because they say usually the people, or the, the, um, that, uh, not house, the branch, not branch, what am I trying to say? <sighs> The party that wins, that's the majority over the House, that's who the leader of the Speaker of the House is. The last time that this has happened was 1923. It is now 2023. So the last time that this happened, that the party that was the majority of the house was not the major was not the automatic uh, did not win. Let me say that this is the first time in a hundred years that the the pers the party that is the majority in the in the house. Their person was not the house speaker. Um, I was about to say Mitch McConnell. Shit. Don't think about me, turtle. Um, you know, don't let me insult turtles like that. Because you know I love me some turtles. I don't love him, but love me turtles. Turtles are my babies. Um. What was I getting at? Um, what's the dude that wanted to be... I done forgot his name. Um, anyways. Um, let's see if it says it. Because I literally forgot the man's name. Because I really don't care. To even really remember his name. Um, McCartney, that's right. How could I forget that? Because that's my man. <laughs> Love me some Paul McCartney. Anyways, McCartney is the one that wanted to be Speaker of the House. And I'm just saying, they don't want to adjourn. left side
they're saying. I'm only pointing to this because I got my headphones in because I don't want to get copyright striked. And I don't know if this is going to qualify me not to get copyright striked. But I'll let y'all hear a little bit of her voice so that you know that I'm hearing something. But I'm, I'm not playing it out loud. over here the Emmer um, McCartney is he's not dropping out he's he's looking to still try McCartney that's what she said it was the old boast that's what she said the group of uh, Gates Bobert Yeah, see, see, that's what uh, Green said, uh, Marjorie Green. Um, she said, and I don't know if, she, did she drop the Taylor? Because I know Taylor was her husband. I don't know if she dropped Taylor. I'm going to just call her Marjorie Green because that's what everybody else is calling her. If I'm wrong, I, I really can't be bothered with getting it right. <clears throat> But, what I was saying was, Marjorie Green said that the people that voted for McC uh, McC McCartney, um, they asked for special treatments. Now, I don't know if that's true because I wasn't there and didn't care to be there. Do not want to be there. But I know Bo Bobert, her her pedophile husband. I know they want something, and I know Gates, <laughs> pedophile himself. I know that he wants basically what Bobert wants because. Birds of a feather. What do they do? They flock together. And I think it was to make it that, uh, make the, um, and you know what, y'all, don't quote me on this because I'm trying to remember what it is. That the Statue of Libertation, I think they're trying to make it shorter. Because if they make it shorter, then... Lauren or Bobert, I'm just gonna call him by their last name because I don't know them personally and don't care to know them personally. But Bobert, I think if they lower the Statue of Libertation, I don't think her husband would get in trouble for exposing himself to teen girls. Yeah, because he's a pedophile, he's a pervert. So I think that's what it is. And I and I know that Gates also wants that same um that same thing with the lowering the statue of limitation because he and another guy that is currently in jail right now for what happened used to and i'm saying used to because i don't know if they're still doing it um they used to Get young girls and have little parties with them, if you know what I'm saying. Pedophilia, that's what I'm saying. So I'm thinking if the sexual limitations kind of shorten, I don't know how short they want it. Maybe if you, if they don't get charged for a month, I don't, I don't know how short they want it. I don't know how short they want it. But that, I know that will benefit them too specifically. Now, let me premise this again. Please do not quote me because I cannot remember the specific thing that they are asking for. All I know is that they are asking for something and it does have to do with crimes 
let me just say that I don't know if it's sex crimes it could just be regular crimes but it does something it does have something to do with criminals and with gates won't it we know if you are watching we know that gates is in trouble was in trouble for giving young girls money labeling it that he's giving them money for college and then they just so happen to be in a hotel room with him and his friend in another state so he trafficked young girls across state line gave them money for school just to go to a hotel with them didn't want nothing from them okay right right but your little friend that's in prison got in trouble for at least two of them instances the specific things that you were in the hotel with him and the girls I'm just saying, I'm not saying that he did anything. I'm just saying that the person that you was rolling with, with you and him was in the hotel at the exact same time. The cash apps that you gave these girls, and they're not women, they were girls, they were underage. You gave them money for school. Okay, you gave a 10th grader money for college? She could be smart. Let me not dumb her down. She could be a genius. She could be 15, 16 in college. I know, you know, I have seen a story of a 10-year-old girl got to go to college because she's just a genius. So let me not dumb these girls down. I'm just saying these. the girl said she was in 10th grade. She didn't say she was a sophomore in college. She was a sophomore in high school, but he gave her money for college. Okay, I'm just only repeating what I've seen. Repeating what I've seen. Just repeating what I've seen. But, but yeah, that, that same instance, you were in a hotel room with said girl and with your friend, but y'all didn't do anything. It's just now he's in he's in jail for for that crime, okay. And you're not why? I I I don't know. I wasn't there. I can't tell you why. Hmm. So we know about Bobert, her husband, in the middle of a bar. Not even in a room. Not even in a bathroom. In the middle of a bar, public bar, won't it two, two, two young girls to look at his personal friend? Hmm. <clears throat> but he's not a pervert, according to Verb Bowert. He's not a pervert. Them girls act for that. Her words verbatim. They asked to see it. Why would two young girls ask to see your husband's personal friend? Really? Are we victim shaming now? I don't know you or your husband personally. I'm just saying, are we victim shaming? Because it sounds a little victim shaming to me. Is it in here? But I don't think they're going to adjourn for tonight. Because if y'all can see. Now I don't know if they're counting these. The ones that came in after the time ran out. But it was still more no's. Or more nays than yays. More no's than yeses before the time ran out so I don't know if 
Oh, well, go, Dan. Why are you saying no? No. Jax, did anybody want to change their vote? And they're all screaming no. Uh, Mr. Gosar said no. I don't know what she's saying. The yeas are two nineteen. See, that's just too many people close to the desk for me. It's the crowd and around for me. Cause we don't know if something about to pop off or not. Okay, who are you? Why are we walking you up to the thing? Who the are you? What the is going on? Mr. Jackson of Texas, what was that? Who done got the Patterson? Mr. Patterson, no. Okay, I don't... But look at them. They scared. <laughs> it's not about to pop off because in my head, the way that they are stopping and just, why, why is people coming up and voting now? See, this is ridiculous. Get this together. Together. Come on. Miss Stansberry. Miss Stansberry votes no. Miss Bandai. Miss Bandai voted I. But okay. But okay, so are they gonna adjourn or not? Until noon tomorrow, they're, they're um, going to be adjourned. And it is said. It's said and so it is ordered. I don't know. Tomorrow at noon.